In today's video, we're going to be taking this Palanite Enforcer Captain from Necromunda. We're taking him from this. To this. So let's stop talking about it and let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with our under layer. And I'm thinking about a blue color. I'm going to go with this Prussian blue. Um, I have an idea of the color scheme in my head. I'm not sure what exactly it's going to look like yet, but we'll take a crack at it. Really need to replace that water. So we're going to get all of this under stuff, including this tunic here. With our Prussian blue. This is my first time building a character from Necromunda. The, there's a lot of options in the model kit, which is awesome. Um, for the captain, I think you're supposed to give him like this bunch of cool stuff. So he has got a bunch of cool gear on him. Um, we'll see how this, you guys like this video. And if you do, I might start painting the rest of the the gang because um, I'm interested in playing this game uh, and I bought this kit a long time ago because I thought they looked cool little judge dread type of uh, vibe I'm getting from them Here. Get the right spots. I'm looking at the box art to kind of see where the colors sit on this guy before I go crazy and just start throwing it everywhere. I like to use the box art as like a reference point of like where you want your separations of colors and stuff to go. Um, because there's no way I'm ever going to paint as good as the box art. <laughs> but I like that it kind of gives you an outline of like kind of where you're going. I wanted to paint these guys up yet, yeah, like, like I was saying, like police. Because I think they are the police of the, the Underhive. Um, I mean, if there is any sort of law down there, I would imagine it does take some sort of Judge Dread form. <laughs> um, so. Well, as the tips of the gloves are. Also, this color. It's got a sweet concussion carbine. This is his gun. Just kind of do like a push in there. Okay, so that does it for the unless I can get down in here. Just kind of push the paint into there. Okay, that takes care of. Oh, it does not. Why don't you tell me, chat? You're, you're supposed to be here to tell me that I miss spots. Hmm. 
Okay. Now I think that's it for all that. So now let's go on to the armor, which I wanted to be gray. This medium sea gray. Same gray we always use. Um, I think it's gonna be cool, like with the with the blue. I like the idea of it. So where this is gonna go is it goes into the boots. The outer boot part, not the under boot part. So just kind of follow those lines that are the model already. One, two. Leave our, our boot in, as intact as possible. Just get the, the armory part on the outside here. pads will have like this well on the box art they have this caution tape color the, the yellow and black you know we ain't doing that <laughs> so just gotta figure out our other color which will probably be a warm color since a lot of the colors on him are gonna be cool so we'll probably throw in a a red most likely um, that'll probably give him more copy vibe also. So just go over the parts that we can here. Including the, the buckles will be this color, but not the straps. So don't worry about the straps right now. If you can get in between the straps, we'll be painting them later, so it's okay. And it'll be a darker color. So you don't have to worry about it showing through. So do it again on the shoe. Maintaining our black base coat as much as we can on the shoe itself. Been really enjoying painting the Marvel Crisis Protocol minions lately, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a break on the channel of you know just the same thing over and over again. I mean, it's not the same model, of course, and their paint schemes are definitely more varied than you know what I'm doing with these guys. So, but you know, variety is nice. So. I paused for now, but I definitely have more to paint still. So just get in there. I gotta get our top piece there. Okay, we get our. Arm guards here. Then Let's 
try to keep the under of the straps black and the under of the wrist guards black as best we can here Now with the, the armor pieces being gray, we might try something different for the grenades and stuff because there would be, normally would be like a lead belcher color or the bolt gun color that we use usually, but you know, it might not show up great against this. So we gotta clean that up for sure. So we'll just keep that in mind as we go forward. We'll try it out though. If it still looks good, we'll use it. But if not, then we'll probably make them brass. This is fine that it's got a little bit of paint on it. I mean, actually let's do this so we can use the contrast paint to make it more pop popped out. It's getting a little watery there. Okay. This one will not be a screen. So we'll keep this like this. But we're gonna paint his this arm the other accent color that we're gonna be using. But we'll keep this plate gray and his elbow guard here. Also keep that gray. Okay, now I'll paint his main armor piece. <laughs> On the box art, they got a lot of sweet, like, non-metallic metal looking stuff on them for their armor. But we'll do what we can and still make it as cool as we can. And I will say so far I am digging the color choice that we have. As a backpack, it's a little weird because it's a lot, it's really techy. But to just have like a gray on it is a little weird. By the end of this, you should definitely be getting police vibe. You know, it's urban setting too, so I think like having these colors really works for it too. Let's get a nice base in here.
maybe use a bigger brush next time <laughs> for this part because covering this is challenging This doesn't have to be crazy because you're gonna. I'm gonna be going in there with some detail colors too. Um, so there's gonna be some like met metallics and stuff in there. I really like the pose of this model. The poses of actually all the the models in this kit are pretty cool looking. Um, so let's paint his helmet. That painted. But also, it could just be the difference between you know, like Games Workshop models and the models that I've been doing a lot lately, which you know aren't Games Workshop models. So you definitely that level of detail on these is a lot better and uh, stuff like that. So do you think? about does it for the gray let me just make sure we get in there make sure that we have all that covered make sure we're getting all of it this let's do those look more like straps so. but presumably there's some armor on it something here okay And while we have it down, let's just touch up our blue really quick that we got in here. And then if we can do a little stripe in there. Okay. Now let's get to the strapping. So we'll use our leather brown. And start getting all the belts here. Holster.
under here. Well, as the straps here. Careful. Paint can go on heavy if you're not careful, so try your best so you don't have to touch up a bunch of stuff after. here and I don't think you can really see in there enough to warrant us going in there but we're gonna do it anyway okay Let's go back to gray to fix the little mistakes that we made here Let's go to our red. Let's go with a scarlet, probably. We want darker. Dark vermilion, maybe? Let's go dark vermilion. is definitely a lot thinner than the ones that we've been working with. So just take your time as best you can. There's a decal that goes on here too, so circle here. Okay, and then we want to get these little raised bits here. It looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like vaguely like getting like Asian vibes from it. Um, I don't know if it's like an old action figure, or like G.I. Joe kind of feeling that I'm getting from this, um, which I like. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's pretty cool. So now we gotta do. This guy.
the Cobra Commander? I don't know. Something. Now we get the helmet. And I want like just a little bit on the backpack too, just to kind of tie the rest of the model together. So we'll take this flat portion here. Do that to it. Looking pretty cool. Okay, now let's go with um metallics so we got our gunmetal let's get all those parts so we want like a buckle here belt buckle This, uh, this gun metal color is going to work out. Um, get the gun barrel down here for his pistol. Let's see, dot some of these buttons. Is getting with the gun. You know, the thing about holsters, and my problem with holsters in games like this is that the holster is supposed to protect. trigger of the gun because it makes it so that it doesn't go off on accident now this is sci-fi and you know maybe there's there's like a, some safeties built into it like it has to be in their hand or something but generally holsters should always cover the the trigger of the gun Hose must be those hoses a different color. Let's go with it has a little stun baton, shock baton. Very uh demolition man of them. colors over here but the base of this is going to be the lead belcher color or the gun metal I think is what it's called for yeah Vallejo is lead, is gun metal games workshop is lead belcher Grenades here.
go to the gun here and just get some of it. I don't want all of it to be this color. But I do want some components of it to be go to our brass color brassy brass and we'll get some for the tops of these I know it's in like copper uh, conductive thing I don't know what I'm saying okay. um, what else here we got let's do like this whole thing right here the shroud the captain he's got a his gun's really gaudy These little here, this backpack here. We've got these tubes, and these little canisters. Like that, just to give it a little bit more variety. Um, and then he's got these little. These ones on his helmet too. Let's do that. Let's take very, really quick clean up this line here. All right. Now, Oop, that's it. Just under here. Be good. Now let's get some white. Just do some a little bit of dotting of some things here so we got these little like floodlight guys or whatever it's right here it's right there and then right there uh, I want to paint this whole thing white because I'm gonna put a contrast paint over it um, so need to have white a white base for contrast to kind of go in there and then same for the eyes
so let's fix the red now that we have the white in the eye holes. <laughs> we definitely don't want to leave it like that. Well, actually, we can also put some white here. Because we're going to make that a screen. Go back to our red here. Very fast and just kind of quickly separate the areas. We're good there now. Okay. We, I missed a spot here with some metallic. And their bases are also decorative. They come like that, so if you want to paint those, Right now, go ahead too. I don't really know what to do with for the bases yet, so. Especially since I don't have like a board for them to play on. Right now, so. Currently busy printing terrain for Marvel. Okay. Now we can wash while we wait for some of this stuff to dry. Yeah, let's do that. So get our shitty brush that we don't care about. And we're gonna start with a Drakenhof nightshade wash for the blue. I feel like this brush is too big. Um, get a smaller brush for this, and we just want to get the blues with it, so load up your brush and just kind of drop it in. This brush feels super crusty. <laughs> so, probably wasn't the best choice for me to choose this brush, but I needed a not great brush because I didn't want to ruin a good brush. Let's see if we can get in there. We kind of can, okay. Now we get just be careful try not to go too crazy into the areas you want to you want to be precise here get the hand Okay, so that gets our blue. Now for our grays, we can do a black wash or we can do a brown wash. I think we're gonna do a black wash is probably better. It's gonna darken it. Um, so, so maybe that's not what we want to do. Maybe we wanna leave it uh, and then just dry brush it later which might be the better choice. So let's take our Raglan flush, which is a reddish wash. We'll use that on the reds. That'll help bring them, bring them up a little bit more in color. 
um, and preserve our gray tone. I think if we if we just dry brush over the gray, we'll get a better result. too much summer just take it dry off your brush and then suck it up with the brush especially if you get it like on parts that you don't want to get it on like right here let's do that okay now we get our brown wash agrax earth shade on the browns and some of the metallics actually probably all the metallics that were that we have so like this guy this guy, this whole thing here, all our leathers and our browns here, so it's going to help bring those up. Under there, back here. get this guy get this guy right here here can wash this to get those recesses showing up get the grenades right here back here have this shock baton the feet I'm gonna bring all those in line the rest of the model especially the, they, those would be like the dirtiest parts right so brown those up okay now we get the last little bit here Let's get this other medic blue. We'll use this for the concussion carbine colors, as well as some shock shock effect kind of crap on the on the baton and the screen. We'll do it for this the arm right here. It kind of a shiny blueness to it, and then just kind of get the sides here. Can I get the whole thing? Actually, let's kind of do that. Okay. Now, lastly, we just have to dot the eyes and. So, you know, it's no strain. I'm no stranger. My color is this, my favorite color is green. I like this neon green a lot. So we'll use this for the eye color, and for the um, cord on the carbine. Actually, the cord should probably be blue now that we have um, the blue light in there. Probably makes more sense. So let's do that dot there. Dot there, and then close this off here. Get off, get ourselves a nice light. Oh, we can probably get a darker blue, like this. Ah, uh, deep sky blue. Just put a little dot down. Ooh, it's really runny. Uh, is this even paint? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know if that paint's gonna work out. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try a magic blue. It's probably a better color. 
color. Put on our brush. Just we want this little cord here. There we go. And now we have ourselves a Palanite Enforcer Captain. Oh, I just shot a little shot now and I'll clean up really quick. Before I just clean up right under here. And we got some some nasties that we want to get. Very cool. And that will be it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Let me know if you want to see more Palanites on this channel. Because I definitely have them. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's give that a little turn table out and we'll see you next time. Like, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next on the next one.